Father which art in heaven Notre Père qui est au ciel Thank you Merci. for blessing us Merci de nous avoir béni Today what a great blessing bénédiction. In the mighty name of Jesus Au nom puissant de Jésus Christ We pray with thanksgiving Nous avons prié avec action de grâce Amen Amen You may be seated Asseyez-vous s'il vous plaît Hallelujah. Amen. Settle down. Asseyez-vous. Now this morning, ce matin, we are continuing on Enlargement. Je continue sur le thème eh, l'expansion. But I want to share about. I want to welcome those who are online as well. Et je vais dire eh, soyez les bienvenus à ceux qui sont en ligne. First Timothy chapter one and verse nineteen. 1 Timothée chapitre 1 verset 19 I want to share about what I call those who make shipwreck Je vais parler de ceux qui font naufrage Amen Amen It's also a new book that I have written C'est un nouveau livre que je viens d'écrire So I want to share some things from that Donc Amen. Je, je vais partager quelque chose de ce livre those who make shipwreck Ceux qui font naufrage. what is a shipwreck qu'est-ce que naufrage a shipwreck is a ship that is destroyed c'est un bateau qui est détruit like the titanic comme le titanic and it is the destruction of a ministry Et cela veut dire quand un ministère se détruit. Your life and your calling. Quand ton appel ou ta vie est détruit. Amen. Amen. So shipwreck is a very important subject. Donc le mot naufrage est un sujet très important. First Timothy chapter one and verse number nineteen. In Timothy chapter nineteen. Holding faith and a good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith, have made shipwreck. En gardant la foi et une bonne conscience, cette conscience, quelques-uns l'ont perdue et ils ont fait naufrage par rapport à la foi. Those who make shipwreck. Ceux qui font naufrage. Amen. Amen. Now, how many want to know who are those who make shipwreck of their qui aimera savoir qui font naufrage par rapport à la foi and their lives par rapport à leur ministère ou leur vie well those who make shipwreck you know it when you make a shipwreck of your life ceux qui font naufrage vous allez connaître cela quand toi aussi tu fais naufrage de ta vie but Mais, I want to just go through how a shipwreck comes about. Mais nous allons regarder seulement comment un, un bateau fait naufrage. And I and I pray you will never forget for the rest of your life. Et ma prière c'est que vous n'allez jamais oublier ce que je vais dire tout le long de votre vie. About those who make shipwreck. Sur ceux qui font 
naufrage. Amen. Amen. So turn with me now to a very famous shipwreck, Acts 27. Donc, nous allons regarder un naufrage très renommé en Acts chapitre 27. And we are going to read from verse number 1. On va commencer depuis verset numéro 1. Acts chapter 27. Acts chapitre 27. And when this is Paul, the apostle, who was on getting onto a ship Ici, nous voyons Paul, l'apôtre, qui était en train de dé débarquer sur un, un bateau. And we see in verse 1, nous voyons au verset 1, and let's read from the American Bible. I think it will be easier. Okay. When it was decided that we would sail for Italy, they proceeded to deliver Paul and some other prisoners to a centurion of the Augustan cohort named Julius and embarking on an Adramitian ship. So that's like saying I'm going on this airways or this airline. Donc le mot Adramitian ça veut dire la compagnie aérienne de une certaine compagnie de l'avion. Are you with me in the American Bible? Est-ce que vous êtes avec moi? Je lis de la Bible semeur. Quand il fut décidé que nous partirions, nous partirons en bateau pour l'Italie. French people should read along the verse with us, so we Donc, don't have to translate the scripture reading. D'accord. Right? Oui. Donc on lit ensemble à l'écran, alors que on lit en, en, en anglais. C'est so d'accord? You can say verse two, verse three, verse like that, so you don't have to. Okay. Donc make je vais seulement long. nommer le verset. Et puis vous allez lire vous-même à l'écran. Okay. Embarking on an Adramitian ship which was about to sail, we put out to sea accompanied by Aristarchus, a Macedonian of Thessalonica. The next, then you say verse 3. Verset so, 3. Yeah. Verset 3 maintenant. Mm. The next day we put in at Sidon and Julius treated Paul with consideration and allowed him to go to his friends to receive care. From there we put out to sea and Merci sailed under the shelter of Cyprus because the winds were contrary. When we had sailed through the sea along the coast of Cilicia and Pamphylia, we landed at Myra in Lycia. Are you with me? Yes. Hello, hello, are you there? Yes. Verse 6. Verse there six. the centurion found an Alexandrian ship sailing for Italy and he put us aboard in it. When we sailed slowly, when we had sailed slowly for a good many days and with difficulty yes, had said. arrived off Sydney, since the wind did not permit us to go further, we sailed under the shelter of Crete of Salmon. Verse 8. Verse 8, maintenant. And with difficulty sailing past it, we came to a place called Fair Havens, near which was the city of Lassia. Are you with me? Yes. Now, when considerable time verse, has passed, verse 9. and the voyage was now dangerous, are you with me? Yes. We are talking about those who make shipwreck. Nous parlons de ceux qui font naufrage. This is a famous shipwreck in the Bible. Et cela est un naufrage, cela est un naufrage connu. This is a famous shipwreck in the Bible. Et nous sommes en train de lire ce naufrage qui est connu dans la Bible. Verse 9, when considerable time had passed, and the voyage was now dangerous since even the fast was already over Paul began to admonish them and said men this, men, I perceive that the voyage will certainly be with damage and great loss 
not only of the cargo and the ship, but also of our lives. Huh? We. Oui. I perceive. Je perçois. But the centurion was more persuaded by the pilot and the captain of the ship than by what was being said by Paul. Mm. Are you listening to me? Est-ce que vous m'écoutez? Because the harbor was not suitable for wintering, Verset 12. the majority reached a decision to put out to sea from there. If somehow they could reach Phoenix, a harbor of Crete, facing southwest and northwest, and spend the winter there, because where they were was not suitable for winter. Parce que là où ils étaient n'était pas bon pour l'hiver. Verse 13. This is, this is a famous shipwreck. C'est un naufrage of the Bible, of the connu, whole Bible, connu dans toute la Bible. Ah. It's a famous one. So when Paul said, "Those who make shipwreck of their faith," he, had, he knew what he was. He knew what is a shipwreck. Donc quand Paul parlait de ceux qui font naufrage de leur à par rapport à leur foi, il connaissait de quoi il parlait. It means total disaster. Ça veut dire un désastre total. And destruction. And dis- une destruction totale. So you are, you are, as you are reading, you are seeing the making of a shipwreck. Donc, alors que nous lisons maintenant, vous voyez comment un naufrage se passe, se déroule. How it happens. Comment un naufrage se Merci. déroule, arrive. Which verse are we on? Nous sommes sur quel verset maintenant? Thirteen. Treize. When a moderate south wind came up. Hein? Huh? Supposing that they had attained their purpose, they weighed anchor and began sailing along Crete, close shore. But before very long, there rushed down from the land a violent wind called Uraquilo. Now you, you can see these days also the hurricanes are named. Et aujourd'hui, nous voyons aussi que il y a les orages qui sont qui ont les noms. When I was in the islands of the Caribbean islands, quand j'étais sur l'île Caraïbe, they, I saw that they were talking. They, they, they would mention somebody's name, you know. So when Beryl was around, Donc, they said, the Beryl was the, the hurricane. Donc, il, il I thought de, it was somebody. Je croyais qu'il parlait de quelqu'un quand Beryl était là, mais je, Je ne savais pas no. que c'était une orage dont il parlait. They were always talking about somebody uh, like oui. Dominican Island. They had a hurricane. They spoiled the whole country. Et Dominican Republic, ils, ils avaient un ouragan qui a de, tout, oui. presque détruit le pays. They mentioned it with a name. I don't know whether it's from the Bible that they decided to give names to the hurricanes. Donc je ne sais pas si c'est à cause de la Bible qu'ils ont décidé mm. de aussi donner les noms aux ouragans. Uraquila. Ici, l'ouragan s'appelle Uraquilon. Now, and when the ship was caught in it and could not face the wind, we gave way to it and let ourselves be driven along. Are you listening? Est-ce que vous écoutez? Now, you see, one of the marvels is in you. I want you to know that God has put in you an ability to overcome. A... You see, if you imagine sitting in a boat and the direction of the boat, you are able to let the wind blow in the sails in such a way that it will direct the boat across the Atlantic Ocean from England to America. Do you understand? Over the seas and keep going in the same direction by wind. It's a, it's a wonder. L'une des choses 
qui me merveille beaucoup, c'est que Dieu nous a donné la capacité de vaincre. Si tu es dans un bateau et le vent te pousse depuis la, sur l'Atlantique, de so, Londres aux États-Unis, c'est une chose merveilleuse. So this one says that that they didn't uh, what they, they allowed themselves to be driven uh, by the wind because they were trying to go in another direction, but they could not face the wind, so they gave way to it and let themselves be driven along. Running under the shelter of a small island called Clauda, we were scarcely able to get the ship's boat under control. After they had hoisted it up, they used supporting cables in undergirding the ship and fearing that they might run aground on the shallows of Cetis, they let down the sea anchor and in this way let themselves be driven along. The next day, as we were being violently storm-tossed, they began to jettison the cargo. And on the third day, they threw the ship's tackle overboard with their own hands. That is, they started to throw things in the ship ils, outside. Ils ont commencé à jeter les, les, les cargaisons en dehors du bateau. Talama ta parapota sabakala daria de le baba. Shipwreck, it means you are starting to throw things out. Naufrage veut dire que quand tu commences à jeter tes cargaisons dehors. Because desperation is coming. Parce que maintenant tu es désespéré. Désespéré. Since neither sun nor stars appeared for many days, the sun didn't appear et and the stars also didn't appear because of the clouds. Et ils n'ont pas vu le soleil ni les étoiles à cause des nuages. And no small storm was assailing us. From then on, all hope of our being saved was gradually abandoned. Mm. Those who make shipwreck. Ceux qui font naufrage. There is a place where you realize that I'm not going to make it. Il y a un endroit, quand tu arrives, tu sais que tu ne peux pas réussir. I'm not going to make it. Tu sais que tu ne peux pas, tu ne peux pas. All hope of our being saved was gradually abandoned. Now, when they had gone a long time without food, then Paul stood up in their midst and said, Men, you ought to have followed my advice and not to have set sail from Crete and incurred this damage and loss. Yet now I urge you to keep up your courage. Verse 22. For there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This very night, an angel of God, to whom I belong and whom I serve, stood before me, saying, Don't be afraid, Paul. You must stand before Caesar. And behold, God has granted you all those who are sailing with you. Wow. Wow. You see, Paul stood up and gave them a prophetic word. Vous voyez, Paul s'est tenu debout et il a donné une parole prophétique. And you see that the reason why he was not going to perish was because He says, I have to stand before Caesar. Et il a dit, la raison pour laquelle je ne vais pas mourir ici, c'est parce que je dois me tenir devant Caesar. There are places you must go before you die. Il y a certains endroits où tu dois aller avant de mourir. There are sections of the ministry you must enter and you must stand before you die. Tu dois entrer dans certaines sessions du ministère avant que tu meurs. And that is the reason for you not dying after now. Et voici la raison pour laquelle tu ne vas pas mourir. Says, I must stand before Caesar so I cannot die in this ship. Il dit je dois me tenir devant César donc je ne peux pas wow. mourir dans ce navire. You must stand before Caesar. Je dois me tenir devant César. You must be at certain places. Tu dois être à certains endroits. And behold, God has granted you all those who are sailing with you. Amen. 
therefore keep up your courage men verse 25 for i believe god that it will turn out exactly as i have been told but we must run aground on a certain island verse 26 now meant no when the 14th night came hey. mm. verse 27 meant no Now I'll, I'll give you a movie to watch. Je vais vous donner un film à regarder. It's called The Perfect Storm. It's, a, it's not it's a, it's scary. Mm. So if you are whatever but and everybody dies in the movie. C'est un film so qui fait this peur. type of movie that you are not happy at the end but it is the best movie to watch of what is a ship. C'est that is going i mean it's, it's not going to survive yeah, c'est un yeah. film à regarder si tu veux comprendre ce qu'on appelle un naufrage un bateau qui ne va yeah. nulle part à la fin tout le monde dans le film est mort Donc, how many don't like movies that everybody dies and and and, and, and it's sad. i don't like that qui n'aime pas un film dans lequel tout le monde meurt à la fin but the reason why i watch it because i thought it's going to survive they also die j'ai regardé le film parce que je croyais que certaines personnes allaient survivre mais tout le monde est mort à la fin Yes. Now, maintenant, when the 14th night came, as we were being driven about in the Adriatic Sea, about midnight, the sailors began to surmise that they were approaching some land. So they took soundings and found it to be 20 fathoms. A little further on they took another sounding and found it to be 15 fathoms. That's, they were testing how deep the water was because in that they were using that to see how near they were to a land. Donc, ils étaient en train de voir, eh, 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 comment on appelle, si ils étaient en train de s'approcher à la terre. Donc, ils étaient une manière de faire ça. Fearing that we might run aground somewhere on the rocks, they cast four anchors from the stern and wished for daybreak. But as the sailors were trying to escape from the ship and had let down the ship's boat into the sea on the pretense of intending to lay out anchors from the bow, Paul said to the centurion, soldiers, unless these men remain in the ship, you yourselves cannot be saved. You see, the sailors were trying to run away and leave the people in the in the in les the boat. pilotes yes. du bateau voulaient maintenant fuir et laisser les passagers dans le bateau the sailors were the employees of the airline les, yes. les pilotes étaient les employés de la compagnie aérienne they were the air hostesses the pilots and all those les were... pilotes les, les hôtesses et tout and they go into the boat and with a small boat maybe then they can go away et eux ils vont entrer dans le petit bateau et puis fuir so Paul told them the Paul dit these people <laughs> must stay eux ils doivent rester avec so nous now people even though he was a prisoner people were listening to it i mean he had a voice bien que il était prisonnier il avait une voix dans le bateau Now, then the soldiers cut away the ropes of the ship's boat and let it fall away. Until the day was about to dawn, Paul was encouraging all of them to take some food, saying, Today is the 14th day that you have been constantly watching and going without eating and have taken nothing. Therefore, I encourage you to take some food, for this is for your preservation. Mm. For not a hair from the head of you will perish. Oh, clap for Paul. Paul Il faut was, acclamer pour la Paul was Paul. encouraging the people. Paul était en train de encourager mm. les gens. All of us in the ship were 276 persons. That's a large number of people in a boat. 276 passengers. Beaucoup de, un nombre de personnes qui étaient dans le bateau. And when they had eaten enough, they began to lighten the ship by throwing out the wheat into the sea. Mm. 
So they were now throwing even their food. Donc maintenant ils avaient commencé de jeter même la nourriture dans la mer, l'eau. This is how when Satan is unraveling your life, it happens in stages and in pieces. Voici comment Satan commence à détruire la vie de quelqu'un. Ça, ça fait, il fait ça en, yeah. en, en étage, en petits morceaux. You must wake up to the reality that something is happening that is not correct. Tu dois te réveiller à la réalité que quelque chose se passe dans ta vie qui n'est pas correct. Now, when the day came, they could not recognize the land, but they did observe a bay with a beach, and they resolved to drive the ship onto it if they could. And casting off the anchors, they left them in the sea, while at the same time, they were loosening the ropes of the rudders and hoisting the foresail into the wind, and they were heading for the beach. But striking a reef, a reef is a hidden rock, large rock, under the water. So, and when it strikes the rock, the, the, the ship is made of wood. So when the wood meets the metal, then the, it breaks through the wood and then the water comes in. Nous avons ce qu'on appelle une langue de terre qui est dans la mer. C'est une, un rocher caché. Donc le, le bateau qui était fait par un bois a cogné le rocher et puis qu'est-ce que se passe? Le bateau s'est détruit. But striking a reef where two seas met, they ran the vessel aground and the prow stuck fast and remained Im- immovable. But the stand began to be broken by the force of the waves. You see, if you go in Ghana to, I don't know whether it's Adan or somewhere there, that is where the river meets the sea, the big river in Ghana, the Volta River, or if you go to, uh, where did we go for the crusade? Kabinda. That's where the Congo River comes into the sea. Donc, par exemple, au Ghana, nous avons un endroit appelé Adan ou bien à Kabinda. Il y a un endroit où le fleuve rencontre la mer. C'est un carrefour de l'eau. It's very dangerous. Et ce carrefour est très dangereux. Yeah. Oui. You know, wherever a river comes into the sea, Ah. The water is dangerous. Le point où le fleuve rencontre la mer est un endroit dangereux. When you fall into the water in this country, you can be found in the next country. Si tu si tu tombes dans l'eau dans ce pays, tu peux être trouvé à un autre pays. So the ship was being broken by the force of the waves. Now the soldiers' plan was to kill the prisoners so that none of them would swim away and escape. But the centurion wanted to bring Paul safely through and kept them from their intention and commanded that those who could swim should jump overboard first and get to the land. So they told that anybody who can swim, jump. You see, that's why I always encourage pastors to learn how to swim. Voici la raison pour laquelle j'encourage les pasteurs de, d'apprendre comment nager. Yes. Oui. I'm always encouraging my pastors the young ones, all of them, learn how to swim and your families. J'encourage. Otherwise, death, water means death. J'encourage mes pasteurs, il faut apprendre à nager toi et puis ta famille. Sinon, l'eau signifie la mort pour toi. Water always means death when you don't know how to swim. The swimming pool, which is somebody's pleasure, means death for you. Une piscine qui représente le plaisir pour quelqu'un peut représenter la mort pour toi si tu ne sais pas comment nager. So now they they told them, anyone who can swim, if you know you can swim, feel free. Maintenant, ils ont dit, si tu sais que tu peux nager, il faut être libre, il faut sauter dans l'eau. Jump into the water and swim for your life. Il faut sauter dans l'eau, il faut nager pour ta vie. Wow. 
And then the rest should follow some on planks and others holding on to various things from the ship. So, you see, even if you don't know how to swim, when you are holding even a piece of wood, you will not even know how to be moving with the thing. Donc, si tu ne connais pas comment nager, tu ne peux même pas tenir un bois sur l'eau pour bouger. Tu ne peux pas. Oh, yes. Ah, oui. Oh, yes. Ah, oui. So, it happened that they were all brought safely to the land. All the 276 passengers and crew were brought safely to the land. Stand up, everybody. Debout le monde. Pray. We are preaching about those who make shipwreck. If you want to come this way, you can. Feel free. Vous pouvez venir ici, s'il vous plaît. Il y a, il y a, il y a de la place. Nous sommes en train de Lift your hands up. Levez vos mains, s'il vous plaît. And those who make shipwreck. Ceux qui font naufrage. This is just a short message for morning. C'est juste un message, un court message pour ce matin. You may call it morning warning. Oui, vous pouvez appeler ça l'avertissement du matin. Oh yes. Oh oui. Father, thank you. Père, merci. Paramando la machando la merikeda parando la manda ni morele banda la banda la baba. Lipa kusha. Pale da banda bara da banda la manda la mama da la banda le baba. Sona manda le mene le mene le mene le mene le mene. Shoda banda la manda le mene le mene le mene le mene le mene le mene. Lift your hands and ask the Lord. Those who make shipwreck, ceux qui font naufrage. Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. <inaudible> Jésus You may be seated Asseyez-vous maintenant Number 1 numéro 1 Causes of shipwreck les causes du naufrage Number 1 numéro 1 delay les retards Delay in your ministry can lead to shipwreck un retard dans ton ministère peut causer un naufrage. In Acts 27 verse 9. En Acts chapitre 27. It says verset 9. Now let's read. On, on, on commence de verset Acts 27, 8. Acts 27 8 and 
It says, and with difficulty sailing past it, we came to a place called Fair Havens. Donc il dit, nous la côtoyâmes avec peine et nous, nous arrivâmes à un lieu nommé Beauport. Verse 9. Verset 9. And when considerable time mm. had passed mm. and the voyage was now dangerous, mm. all right? Yes. Then Paul and even the fast was already over. Paul began to admonish them. Donc il dit un temps assez long s'était écoulé et la navigation devient dangereuse car l'époque même du jeûne était déjà passée. C'est pourquoi Paul avertit. Change to the King James. Maintenant il faut regarder. It says when much time. Quand ils ont passé du King James. King James. Change the version. When much time was spent. Un temps assez long s'est écoulé. So there was a major delay. Il y avait un retard majeur in setting off. En démarrant. Yes. Oui. There was a major delay. Il y avait un un retard so, majeur. Shipwreck. Donc naufrage. Paul's shipwreck. Le naufrage. Which is the most famous shipwreck in the Bible. Mm. Was caused by one of the few things I'm going to show with you is a delay. Donc, la première chose que nous voyons dans ce naufrage que Paul a eu. A delay in setting off. You see, when you are, one of the reasons for accidents une des raisons pour les accidents delay in setting off. C'est quand tu es en retard. Au lieu de démarrer tôt, tu es en retard. Starting. Because when you start late, you have a time you have estimated that you will arrive. Oui. So since you are not getting there in time, you have to start going faster mm. and faster and doing more and more dangerous things. Mm. And then in the end, you may have a shipwreck. Parce shipwreck que, is like an accident. Mm. Parce que quand tu commences un voyage et puis tu es en retard, tu commences maintenant à mettre la vitesse. Tu commences à faire...
A son of God is a supernatural being. Un fils de Dieu est un être surnaturel. Of God is a supernatural being. Tu peux changer le mot fils de Dieu avec That's why your life becomes ordinary. C'est pourquoi ta vie devient ordinaire. Because you are led by circumstances. Parce que tu es dirigé par des circonstances. And not by the spirit. Et pas par l'esprit. Yes. Oui. All of ministry should not be led by circumstances. Dans toute ta vie dans le ministère, tu ne dois yes. pas être dirigé par des circonstances. That's why 90% of pastors are found where only 5% of the people are. And 5% of pastors Do you understand that? America has only 5% of the whole world. Mm. The whole world, the whole world had 100 people. Only 5 are from America. Mm. And 90% of all ministers of the gospel are in America. Mm. C'est pourquoi 90% de ministres se trouvent ministering to the 5%. Ou so I'll give you time so preach preach okay. preach. C'est pourquoi 90% de pasteurs se trouvent à un endroit où se trouve seulement 5% de personnes alors que le 5% de pasteurs se trouve à l'endroit où il y a 90% de personnes. Aux États-Unis par exemple, les États-Unis fait seulement 5% du monde entier mais il y a encore 90% so it looks like the circumstances are guiding the ministry and that circumstance leads guiding is one of the causes of shipwreck donc il semble que les circonstances dirigent les gens c'est pourquoi beaucoup de ministres arrivent à faire des naufrages number three numéro trois Ignoring danger signs. Ignorant the signs de danger. Cause the shipwreck. Cela a causé le naufrage. Acts 27 verse 9. Acts 27 verse 9. Verse 9. When considerable time had passed and the voyage was now dangerous, there was evidence that there was danger. La Bible dit quand le yes. voyage était devenu dangereux. Ça veut dire il y avait des signes que le voyage était devenu dangereux. The voyage was now dangerous. La navigation devenait dangereuse. What they were doing and what they were going to do, there were danger signs. Il y avait des signes de danger en ce qu'ils étaient en train de faire. So when God shows you danger signs, Quand Dieu te montre des signes de danger, you have to take note. Tu dois remarquer toutes ces choses. You see, if somebody ever even compares you or even makes an illustration that compares you to an orangu, it's a danger sign mm. that you have done something or you are doing something mm. that is on the similar path wow. of an orangu. Si quelqu'un, it's a danger sign. C'est un signe de danger si quelqu'un te compare ou bien quelqu'un fait un exemple de toi à Orangoutan, tu dois avoir peur parce que c'est un signe de danger. It's a dangerous sign. C'est un signe dangereux. A sign of danger. C'est un signe de danger. When somebody tells this thing is something ne- negative, and you see there are danger signs. The, the danger hasn't happened, oh. but he says when sailing was now dangerous, vous voyez si, that there was danger appearing. Si quelqu'un te dit que ce que tu fais est une chose dangereuse, il faut arrêter. Il faut avoir peur parce que dans ce verset, ce n'est pas parce qu'ils étaient dans le danger. La Bible dit quand ils avaient commencé, il y avait des signes de danger devant eux. When somebody points and says, "This thing that you are doing, this is what this person did. This thing that you are doing, this is what this person who ended up like this, this is how he did." You should never, you should never be happy with such comparisons because it's a danger sign. And that means that there are some danger signs around your life. Mm. Danger signs lead to a shipwreck mm. when you ignore the danger signs. Si quelqu'un te dit, il faut arrêter de faire ce que tu fais parce que à la fin, ça va arriver comme ça. Cette personne a commencé comme ça et il a fini par ça. Il faut avoir peur parce que ce sont des dangers, de, ce sont des signes de danger. Et des signes de danger arrivent, ça va t'amener à faire un crash. Yes. Oui. 
What danger signs are there? Quels sont des signes de danger? What danger exist? signs are there? Quels sont des signes de danger? What? Even when you see somebody behaving in a certain way, you can say, ah, this is a danger sign. That, that comment you made, that behavior, your face, your attitude, it's a sign. We don't, it's not a comfortable sign. Mm. Si tu vois quelqu'un se comporter dans une certaine manière, ou bien la personne fait son visage dans une certaine manière, ou bien la personne se comporte ou bien fait des commentaires, ça peut être un signe de danger. Ignoring danger signs. Ignorer des signes de danger. Yes. Oui. Ignoring danger signs. Ignorer les signes de danger. Oh yes. Ah oui. Sometimes we have meetings as pastors and people exhibit danger signs. Des fois quand nous avons des réunions de pasteurs, certaines personnes ils font montrer des signes de naufrage. They exhibit danger signs. Ils font montrer des signes de danger. And you can see that there's some danger here, but you don't have to. I'm telling you, you don't have to ignore it. Et on voit déjà qu'il y a un danger ici. Je don't vous dis, it. il don't ne faut pas it. ignorer ces don't, signes. Don't just continue going on the on the journey ignoring those signs. Il ne faut pas continuer à naviguer en ignorant ces signes de danger. You know, one day I was I, I was at a meeting. And uh, I came late for the meeting. Un jour j'étais dans une réunion et puis j'étais en retard pour la réunion. When I got there, quand je suis arrivé, it was just the meeting was in an office like this. C'était dans un bureau comme ça, une réunion dans le bureau. And one of the pastors was sitting in my chair and conducting the meeting. Et l'un des pasteurs s'est assis dans ma chaise en train de yes. diriger la réunion. Because I didn't have a special chair. Parce que I just had a chair, but that was my chair. Parce, oh, I it was special, yeah. But oui. It was a special chair, okay. À cette époque-là, je n'avais pas une chaise spéciale, mais c'était ma chaise. What is that? Mais qu'est-ce que cela veut dire? So I told him, I said, if I'm not here, never sit in my chair to have, have, have any meeting. Never. J'ai appelé le pasteur et je lui ai dit, si je ne suis pas ici, il faut jamais t'asseoir dans ma chaise. And don't conduct any meeting if I'm not here. I've not asked you to conduct any meeting. He started the meeting. Fini. Yes, went by. Oh yes. Et il a fini par devenir un orangoutant dangereux et sérieux. Yes. Oui. When you see somebody's face and you see uh, uh, you see you have to learn to read faces. More, almost 60% of communication is non-verbal. Si tu vois le visage de quelqu'un, il faut apprendre les signes de visage parce que presque 60% de communication sont, sont non verbales. Those of you who don't read faces. Ceux d'entre vous qui ne lisent pas les visages. And you don't interpret faces. Et vous n'interprétez pas les visages. You are lost. Vous êtes perdu. You are lost. Vous êtes perdu. You, you are almost deaf and dumb. Vous êtes comme des sourds et muets. Certain faces, certain visages, and certain expressions, and certain expressions, and certain attitudes, and certain attitudes, it's a danger sign. It's a danger sign. <laughs> yes. Are we? One danger sign is someone who understands orangus. Un signe de danger. I don't. Hein? Un signe de danger, c'est quelqu'un qui semble comprendre les orangoutans. Let's say somebody is uh, angry about something to do with some uh, something that is being done in the church. So I say, yeah, I don't agree with him, but I understand his <laughs> issues. You know, I understand why he's not happy, and I understand this. So that even understanding that you understand it, it's a sign. Mm. It's a danger sign. Mm. 
Disons par exemple, si quelqu'un se lève et la personne commence à parler d'une manière mauvaise contre l'église, et puis quelqu'un qui est avec toi se lève et dit, oh, je ne suis pas d'accord avec lui, mais je comprends ce qu'il est en train de dire. Cela même est un danger que tu dois avoir, tu dois faire attention de ça. Oh, it's a, I'm, I'm just talking about danger signs. Je parle des signes de danger seulement. Put my scripture back. It said, when time was passed and sailing was now dangerous. Un temps assez long, et la Bible dit, et naviga, la navigation était devenue dangereuse. Even the fast was over. À l'époque même que le, le jeûne the, s'était déjà passé. The fact that the fast was over, it was even a sign that no, that time is wrong. You know, when I was going to this islands recently, were concerned about hurricanes because I was flying in these small, small planes. So they were concerned about hurricanes. They told us this is not a time. The hurricane is now coming. Mm. There is a time for it. Mm. They, are, they expect it at the same time every year. Mm. So they said this is not the time, but they don't know why it has come early. Mm. Quand j'ai voyagé so où? when they said the fast was by, it means that the time for danger has already come mm. and you are now going to start your journey. Mm. Wow. Donc il est très important de savoir que quand il est le temps de danger, il faut pas faire le voyage. Quand j'étais au Caraïbes, on était en train de uh, on voyageait dans les avions à cause des ouragans. Je faisais attention mais ils m'ont dit ce n'était pas encore le temps pour les ouragans. Mais ils ont dit que il est en train de arriver. Donc il faut faire très attention de savoir que quand il est le temps pour un danger. A person who is snoopy and very interested in stories. It's a danger sign. Watch that person. He's really interested. So what happened? Eh, eh, this is, and when the person sees you, he does it like he's not interested in anything. He's just around. A person who is very interested. So this has happened. I hear this. I hear that this. I hear that this. It's not an orango, but I'm telling you that it is a sign. It's a danger sign. Quelqu'un, you ignore it. Quelqu'un qui est intéressé dans les bavardages. J'ai entendu ceci, j'ai entendu cela. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Cette personne aussi, c'est un signe de danger. Oh yes. Ah oui. Catherine Kuhlman said something. She said she has learned that everybody who is curious, inquisitive to know things is a dangerous person. I mean, I read that Catherine Kuhlman. Yeah. Je me She's souviens, like Catherine Kuhlman a dit quelqu'un qui est curieux, quelqu'un qui aime les bavardages, c'est une personne dangereuse. Yeah. Oui. Watch out for danger signs. In, your, in yourself too. Oui, fais attention aux signes de danger. Et in même yourself. en toi, en toi même. I hear that they say whatever then ah. I hear that this and that. so is it well, really is it true that did you that, that, ah. this person whereas there are some people so we don't know anything about that we, we are worshiping God we are serving God with I hear that this 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 you want to know that that curiosity many times is a danger sign so why is this person nosing around or even want to know so many things mm. Il y a des gens dans nos églises tout le temps. Ah, j'ai entendu que, j'ai entendu que, j'ai entendu tout le temps entendu, entendu, entendu quoi? Et alors qu'il y a des gens dans l'église qui ne connaissent rien, mais ces okay. personnes tout le temps entendu, j'ai entendu. Est-ce que tu as entendu? Cette curiosité c'est un signe de danger. All right. Oui. Sit down. I'm, I've not finished. Asseyez-vous. On n'a pas encore fini. Number four. Numéro 4 Being in a hurry caused the shipwreck. Être pressé. Quand tu es pressé, cela aussi cause naufrage. Now, when much time was spent, La see, we are looking at why the shipwreck happened. Nous sommes en train de regarder pourquoi le naufrage. Yes. When much time was missed, Charlie, it's late. We have to move. Ils ont passé assez de temps, donc ils ont dit, hey, nous devons bouger maintenant. Nous sommes en retard. Jesus is never in a hurry. Jésus n'est jamais pressé. Watch out for something that you are doing too much in a hurry. Faites attention quand tu es sous pression d'être pressé. Being being in a hurry to be rich quand tu es pressé de devenir riche is 
it, it, it is even a dangerous. You can see something bad is going to happen to this person. On, on voit déjà que quelque chose de mauvais peut arriver à cette personne. The Bible says that he that hasteth to be rich has an evil eye. La Bible dit celui qui a une hâte de devenir riche a un œil mauvais. So shipwreck is going to happen to you if you are in a hurry to have money in the ministry. Tu auras naufrage si tu es pressé pour avoir de l'argent dans le ministère. You soon you soon be shipwrecked. Bientôt tu auras naufrage. If you are in a hurry to have money. Quand tu es pressé pour avoir de l'argent. I've, I've not yet seen any orangu who was not an orangu connected to finances and money. Je n'ai jamais vu un orangutan qui était devenu un orangu et cet orangutan n'était pas connecté à avoir de l'argent. I remember one orangu when he was writing books, it's only about money. Je me souviens un orangutan quand il écrivait des livres, tout ce qu'il écrit c'est That's even course. a sign. C'est un signe déjà. Yes. Oui. It's even a sign. Même ça c'est un signe. Because my sons in the ministry, in the, this ministry is not a ministry after after money or like not that not that. No, I'm not saying if you if you preach about money or write a book about. I've written books about money. Yeah. But I'm saying that like when the chance for you to even express yourself, the only preaching is money. The only book is money. This is money. It's, it shows that there is something. Oui. It's a sign. C'est, c'est, c'est un signe. Je, je ne dis pas de ne pas prêcher ou bien écrire sur l'argent, mais je suis en train de dire que wow. si tu as l'opportunité de parler ou écrire ou prêcher et tout le temps tu ouvres ta bouche, c'est de l'argent, l'argent et l'argent. C'est déjà un signe de danger. <laughs> I remember one fellow who made me. shipwreck. He that has an evil eye, put the scripture there. Mm. He that hasted to be rich has an evil eye. Mm. Un en vieux a hâte de s'enrichir. Mm. La Bible dit, il a un œil one, one pastor, un pastor, he went somewhere when he was staying in the uh, place. He told them there was some, something wrong with the house. Uh, you know, this is in America. So he told them, sue them, sue them. You will get a lot of money. Oh. You know, look, and this is a person, yes. It's sue them. It's like the person only thinking about money. Everything, is, I can get money from them. I can get money from them. Un pasteur était envoyé quelque part et sa maison, il y avait un, un petit problème. Et le pasteur dit à l'autre personne, il faut les amener au tribunal, à la justice, parce que tu auras beaucoup d'argent. Une petite chose, toi, tu penses à l'argent. Yes. And you see people trying to sue to get, people go to court. One of the reasons is to get money. Like when I sue you, you settle and you pay this and you pay this. Tu vois, les gens amènent les autres au tribunal, à la justice, parce qu'ils envisagent de l'argent. Ils veulent avoir de l'argent. Yeah. Oui. We'll say this about you, so if you don't say, we'll pay Pay all this money. Yeah. Don't pay even one city. Yeah. Don't pay even a dollar. Mm. On Don't attack. pay. Rather mm. pay lawyers. Don't mm. pay them. Don't mm. pay such people. <laughs> not, gens... even, not even, even a, a, a single dollar. Mm. Wow. Don't give them. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. when you feed them, mm. you, 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 you are in energizing wow. nonsense. Mm. Il y a des gens qui attaquent les pasteurs en justice yeah. pour avoir l'argent. Il ne faut pas leur donner l'argent. These are all danger signs. Ce sont des signes de danger. Faut Being pour... in a hurry to be prosperous, to have this car, to have this money, to have these houses, to have this thing in a hurry. I mean, come on. Être en hâte d'avoir l'argent, prospérer, avoir cette voiture dans le ministère, ça veut dire quoi? Don't do that to yourself. Ne fais pas ça toi-même. Now, almost 100% of our missionaries are going to be lay. We are not going to employ. Maintenant, presque 100% de <laughs> nos missionnaires seront no, laïcs. No, 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 no. Money, no. employment. Almost 100% of the missionaries are going to be lay people. Presque 100% de... Not going to employ anybody again. 
Je ne vais plus embaucher ou employer les gens. Presque 100% de nos missionnaires seront laïcs. You prove with great, great evidence that you are worthy to be employed. Il faut montrer avec de l'évidence que tu es digne d'être employé. Yes. Oui. With evidence. Il faut montrer. You will not, never be employed in this. I will send more mister than ever before. Je vais more envoyer. William Carries, more Adoniram Jatsons, more higher servants of God. We are going to send more. It is now that the missionary anointing has even come. Ah. C'est maintenant que l'onction de missionnaire est arrivée et je vais envoyer encore plus beaucoup de missionnaires. Mais yes. cette fois-ci, ce ne sont pas yes. des missionnaires employés, mais missionnaires qui vont travailler là-bas pour gagner la vie. Yeah. Oui. Those who make shipwreck are in a hurry. Les gens qui font naufrage He sont said, les gens qui sont when pressés. Time was now spent. La Bible dit un temps assez long s'est écoulé. Yeah. Oui. When time was now spent and Quand sailing was now dangerous. Et la navigation devenait they dangereuse. The danger signs. Ils ont ignoré les signes de danger. How many points do you have? Vous avez combien de points? Only four. Ah, seulement quatre points. There are not many points, so. Okay. Number five. Numéro cinq. Are you there? Est-ce que vous êtes là? Trusting in the majority. Ayant confiance dans la majorité. Cause a shipwreck. C'est ça qui a causé naufrage. Acts 27 verse 12. Acts 27 verse 12. As the harbor was not well situated and so unsuitable that the circumstances were leading you the majority the majority favored the plan of putting sea again from there hoping that is amplified amplified bible hoping some to reach finis a harbor of crete or Ameri or the american bible the majority change to americano whatever the majority la bible dit la plupart furent d'avis la plupart la majorité yes oui now majority you see one time i had a graduate from this school une fois j'ai eu un diplômé de cette école in a class dans une une classe and some of them began to grumble. Et certains ont commencé à murmurer. Instead of remembering that they were nobodies and they were nothing, they had no education, no qualifications, and we encouraged them and blessed them to be in the school. Ces personnes n'avaient pas de qualifications, ils n'étaient rien. On les a encouragés de venir à cette école pour être formés. Hein? Hein? And we gave them an opportunity to be in the ministry. On les a donné l'opportunité d'être dans le ministère. And then you have them sometimes in class groups Et talking. The, the majority of them are saying this, and they say this, and they say that. The majority people are saying people are not happy. Some are saying this. People are not happy. People are saying people are not happy. Ils se sont formés en groupe dans les classes. Ils disent la majorité dit, beaucoup de personnes sont en train de dire, nous ne sommes pas contents. And they will be WhatsApping themselves. Et ils commencent à s'envoyer des WhatsApp. A lot of people are saying. Beaucoup de personnes sont saying, en train de dire. Saying, les gens disent. Some try, trying to form a group to sue us. Ils essayent de former des groupes pour nous attaquer en justice. Yeah. The majority. La majorité. You know, Allô? you must know that the majority in the church, the church is not led by the majority. Il faut apprendre que l'église n'est pas dirigée par la majorité. I'm the leader of my church. Je suis I'm le not, leader. I'm not, I'm not in a committee. Je ne suis pas dans un, un comité. You know, I don't, we don't, we don't vote from, on my leadership. I'm not standing for you to choose me. 
ma manière de leadership n'est pas comme on va voter pour que vous me choisissez. Non, vous me choisissez. Non. I will never subject myself to elections. Je ne vais jamais m'assujettir aux élections. Never. N jamais. I'm not a fool. Je ne suis pas un sans. I, I, I may not even win the election in my own church. Peut-être que je ne vais même pas gagner des élections dans ma, ma, ma yes. propre église. I have to go and smooth talk all of you and say this and say, we didn't come here by democracy. Je dois aller voir les gens pour dire qu'il faut voter pour moi. Si vous votez yes. pour moi, on ne fait pas le ministère à cause de la démocratie. And I'm not ashamed of it. This is what I have. God has used me to build a church. I'm not going to subject myself to your ideas. Je n'ai pas honte. Je n'ai point honte de dire ça parce que Dieu m'a donné cette grâce pour construire cette église. Je ne peux pas m'assujettir aux idées des autres. Have you not seen that it was the decision of the majority that led to the shipwreck? Ah, yeah. Vous ne voyez pas? C'était la, la décision de la plupart, la majorité, qui les a amenés à faire le naufrage. When the 12 spies went to go and look for the promised land, yes. how yes. many of them was it the majority who said we shouldn't go or the minority? Majority. It was the majority. Quand les douze espions étaient envoyés d'aller espionner la terre, c'était la majorité ou les minorités qui ont dit il ne faut pas aller. C'était la majorité. majority. La majorité. The majority. La majorité. A lot of people are saying. Hey. Many people are saying. You can go to wherever with your many people that are saying. Ah. Beaucoup de personnes disent. Les gens sont en train de dire, il faut aller là où tu veux. Many people that are saying, Toi avec ton beaucoup de personnes sont en train de dire. Get lost. Il faut disparaître là-bas. Yes. C'est quoi? Go away with your majority of people that are saying whatever. It's not even true. Va-t'en avec ton. Les gens sont en train de dire. Ce n'est même pas vrai. Who cares about what the majority of the people are saying? Qu'est-ce qu'on fout de beaucoup de personnes sont en train de dire? In the church, I'm talking about the church. I'm not talking about the nation. Je Don't parle, misquote me. Je parle de l'église. Je ne parle pas de la nation. S'il te plaît, il ne faut pas me Don't mal citer. Don't me. Don't say I'm saying something bad about democracy. Ne dis pas que je dis quelque chose de mauvais sur la démocratie. I'm talking about the church. Je parle de l'église. Yes. Oui. Who cares about what you think? Mais what I'm preaching here, do you think it is what you like that I'm preaching? Tu I'm preaching what I believe God has told me to mais, preach. Est-ce que tu penses que je prêche sur ce que vous voulez entendre? Non, ah. je prêche ce que Dieu me dit you de prêcher. Think, you think I, I think much about your opinion? Moi, je ne pense pas à ce que tu penses. Je prêche ce que Dieu me dit de prêcher. What you are saying in your class group in that town or that place or wherever it is that you are or what Orangus are meeting together and saying whatever. You think I care about it? Come on, you got to be crazy, man. Hey. Somebody's got to be crazy somewhere. Quelqu'un est de, en train de devenir un fou. Moi, je suis en train de prêcher ici. Tu dis que non. Il y a un groupe de orangoutans qui sont en train de faire des réunions sur WhatsApp en train de s'envoyer des messages. Mais qui s'en fout de ça? Je m'en fous de ça. Quelqu'un est en train de devenir fou. When the Israelites went, who was it the majority who told Moses, we cannot go, we don't want to go, we don't want, was it not that all the people, all the people were against it? Oui. Quand Moïse était en train de diriger les enfants d'Israël, est-ce que ce n'était pas la majorité qui disait, on ne veut plus continuer, on veut retourner? Listen. Écoutez. Listen. Écoutez. A Christian leader, a church leader, is not like a politician. You see, a politician, when you are a president, you are a president of everybody. Un mm. leader chrétien n'est pas un politicien. Si tu es politicien, tu es politicien ou bien tu es président sur tout le monde dans le pays. You have to be a president to this group, to this group, to every tribe, every religion is all part of your presidency. So that's why you will see a Christian leader attending another religion uh, meeting and even praying with them, then another religion leader will also go to another religion's group and pray and everything because he is the leader of all of them. But in the church, we don't go to have to please this, I have to please the choir, I have to please uh, uh, 
Ashantis. I have to please Ewes. I have to please Northerners. I have to please. With that, we don't have it in the church. We don't have to please you. No. We have to please uneducated people. We have to please unemployed people. We have to please this group. We have to please this group. I don't have that, I don't have that need. Mm. I don't have that need. Mm. Si tu es président d'un pays, tu es président sur tout le monde. C'est pourquoi tu vois un président peut être chrétien, mais de temps en temps, quand une autre religion se rencontre, il parle là-bas pour prier avec eux. Pourquoi? Parce qu'il est président sur tout le monde. Mais si je suis un pasteur, je ne dois pas plaire à tout le monde. Je ne peux pas plaire à la chorale, plaire, plaire à ceux qui sont d'une autre tribu. Je, je dois me plaire à ceux qui sont illettrés dans l'église. Je dois me plaire à ceux qui sont inéduqués dans l'église. Je ne peux pas me plaire à tout le monde dans l'église. Those pastors who are always trying to let the majority in your church be happy with you, you will soon lose all your power and your anointing. Les pasteurs qui dépendent tout le temps de la majorité, je veux que la majorité soit content avec moi. Tu vas perdre ton pouvoir en tant que pasteur sur l'église. You know how I preach, how I minister. Some people like it. A lot of young people like it. A lot of people have it that way. That is it. Vous voyez, ma manière de prêcher, il y a des jeunes gens qui aiment ça et ça, ça suffit pour moi. Some people like, and I don't. Uh, Jesus was not liked by everybody. He was Jesus. not liked by the major. The majority voted that Jesus put it on. The, he said that um, crucify should I choose uh, what is his name? Barabbas, Barabbas. Barabbas. Or, or Jesus. Jesus put it up there, and they said, no, we choose Barabbas. Barabbas. Like it's incredible when people in the church are allowed to choose. Like what they choose of the majority. Like they selected Barabbas and said, we prefer Barabbas to Jesus Christ. Ah. Jésus Christ yes, n'était pas the aimé majority par... of the people. Oui, Jésus Christ n'était pas aimé par tout le monde. Quand ils ont demandé à la majorité dans l'église de choisir, ils ont choisi Barabbas au-dessus de Jésus Christ. Spiritual things don't go. Jesus Christ was a spiritual leader. He, he, would, he would not be chosen if he was to be subject to what do the people think? Why don't you read on the social media how people insult pastors? Mm. Have you, have you seen, in every country, mm. in Kenya, mm. in South Africa, in Zimbabwe, I mean, <laughs> Ghana, America, you cannot even, when you see the, the insults and the hatred for, not for Every different pastors. Mm. You can't, we can't, we are not following what people think. It's nice. You are a good pastor. You are, sometimes people will tell me, Écoutez, si tu es un leader spirituel, si tu es un leader spirituel, tu ne peux pas plaire à tout le monde. Il faut aller sur les réseaux sociaux. Partout dans chaque pays, on insulte des pasteurs. Au Canada, aux États-Unis, au Gabon, au Congo, partout on insulte les pasteurs. Pourquoi Parce que les gens n'aiment pas les pasteurs. Il y a une haine pour les pasteurs. Donc on ne peut pas plaire à tout le monde. On plaît seulement à Dieu. Yeah, oui. Sometimes they will say, well, why don't you show the hospital you are doing? Why don't you show the orphanage? I say, look, these people, well, you can show them orphanage, this, this, that. They will still never like you or approve of you. Others, I, those, that's why I don't bother to show all those things. The kind of humanitarian work that we do, you'll be shocked how much. I, 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 they, don't, they don't even need to know. We are doing it because of Matthew 25. Ah. That is why we are doing it. Les gens me disent, les gens me disent, pourquoi est-ce que tu ne, tu ne mets pas les photos des œuvres humanitaires que tu fais? Pourquoi pas, est-ce que tu ne peux pas faire des photos de ton hôpital sur les réseaux sociaux afin que les gens te voient et puis les gens vont te respecter? J'ai dit, les gens ne nous respectent pas parce que nous sommes en train de faire des œuvres humanitaires. Si on ne t'aime pas, on ne t'aime pas. Et on ne fait pas ces choses à cause d'eux. On fait ça à cause de Matthieu chapitre 25. Oh yes! Oh oui! Oh, the brother so, Yanni, why don't you show them this work you are doing? Why don't you show them? <laughs> why should I show them? Look at God. He has Saturn, the moon, the stars. Mm. We never saw it till 1950 something that we saw that the earth was even round. Mm. He doesn't care that you don't know that he is so great. Mm. Because like... you are nothing. Why does he care about what you think? Les gens disent, il faut montrer des photos, des choses que tu fais aux autres. 
sur les réseaux sociaux afin que les gens te voient et puis ils vont t'aimer. Écoutez-moi, Dieu s'en fout si nous sommes au courant qu'il y a des planètes quelque part ou pas. C'était en 1945 que les gens ont su qu'il y avait des planètes quelque part. Mais pour Dieu, il s'en fout. Si tu ne veux pas savoir, il s'en fout de ça. Look, those of you up there, show us fly by Saturn. Saturn Mont and Jupiter. Mont Just show us yeah. the video of that, the, the, the thing of, of whatever. Saturn moon. moon. It was 1977 when they saw, this is, this is Jupiter. 1977. I was thinking, all these years, God has been so great. Et je me suis dit, tous ces années, Dieu a été, il, a, il est déjà grand, mais les gens n'étaient pas au courant. He doesn't mind us at all. Il, 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 il s'en fout de nous, il ne nous regarde pas. To try to get the majority of this world to love him. Et tu essaies d'avoir la majorité du monde pour aimer Dieu. God can open the sky and show his face. Hey. The whole world will be afraid just now. Dieu peut ouvrir les cieux et il peut faire voir son visage dans une seconde et tout le monde aura peur. Mais il ne fait pas ça. I just want to tell you, your opinion is not important in the church. Je me your dit, opinion is not important. I want you to know, it is not important. Je, it is God's word that is important. Yes. Your opinion and your idea and your opinion, it is not, it will never be, it is not important. And nobody cares about your, your opinion, your whatever majority opinion. Nobody cares whether many people are saying, a lot of people are saying, and many people think this. Nobody cares. It is not important. And mm. it Will never be important. Je veux te dire que ton opinion n'est pas importante. Ton opinion, ton idée ne sera jamais important ni aujourd'hui, ni demain, ni pour l'éternité. Ton opinion n'est pas important. C'est ce que Dieu dit qui est important. Et on s'en fout de ce que tu penses. Ce que Dieu dit, c'est ce qui est important. Are you going to show that planet or not? Montre-nous la planète là. On va voir. Something bad will happen to you if you don't show that planet right now. First Corinthians chapter 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Verse 3. Verse 3. He said, but with me. La Bible dit, mais avec it moi, is a very small thing. Il m'importe fort. That I should be judged or assessed. Peut être jugé by ou you. Évalué par vous. Or of man's judgment. Ou par un tribunal humain. Yeah, I judge not my own self. Je ne me juge pas non plus moi-même. Remember this verse always. Souvenez-vous de ce verset tout le it temps. It is a very small thing. Il est une petite chose that I should be judged by you. Que je sois jugé par or vous. Or by a group of rebels. Ou par un groupe de rebelles. A group of orangus. Ou un groupe des orangoutans. Ah! Jamais. Or a group of failures. Ou bien un groupe des gens qui ont échoué. Or wretched, wretched pastors, Ou wretched men. Un groupe de pasteurs misérables, des hommes misérables. Wretched failures. Des, des gens qui ont échoué misérables. Wretched slanderers. Les gens qui sont des accusateurs misérables. Wretched losers. Les gens qui échouent d'une manière misérable. Wretched orangus. Les orangutans misérables. Wretched shipwrecks. Les gens qui ont fait nos bras. Wretched liars. Les menteurs misérables. Your opinion is not important. Ton opinion n'est pas important. Paul said, Paul a dit, with me, come on. it is a very, not a small, very small thing. He did pour moi, il m'importe fort peu. It's a very small thing. Il m'importe fort peu. Your opinion is a very small thing to me. Ton opinion est une petite chose very, pour moi. Very, very small. Et ton opinion est fort peu pour moi. Yeah. Oui. And I want to tell you. Et je veux te dire. And to tell my bishops. Et je veux dire à mes my leaders. Mes leaders. My churches. Mon, mes églises. Your, your opinion is very small to me. I want you to know that. Vos opinions very, very small. sont très petites pour moi. Oui. Preach. Do you know how long people have, have mocked me as a man? This loyalty, this and that. Today, as we are here, you see, largest church in yeah, uh, South Africa, largest church in this, largest church in that. They are all sitting here, different countries. They hear, they just hear a drop of it. And they say, we want to be here. And they are all here. They line up here. Wow. Coming here. 
Largest church in Paris, largest in Cote d'Ivoire, largest church in the, the pastors, Zimbabwe, this, that, all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Aujourd'hui, dans cette conférence, your opinion, and they may, whether they were here or not, your opinion has no value to me. But I'm, I'm quoting what Paul said. It's a very small, it's not a mean small, it's very small. Mm. Je suis en train de citer la, la même chose small. que Paul a dit. Wretched liars, wretched les, deceivers. Les wretched deceivers les, and liars. Les trompeurs misérables et des menteurs. I see some of these wretched orangus, losers, failures, shipwreck of ministries, Je vois shipwreck disasters of ministry. Des gens qui ont fait nos fonds. is nothing. Yeah. Oh, oh. Les gens qui ont fait nos phrases de leur ministère, nos phrases de tout, les gens qui sont misérables, je suis en train ces personnes en train de parler, mais qui a dit que leur opinion est importante Je suis en train de citer ce que Paul a dit. Il a dit votre opinion est très petit, pas petit, mais très petit. Ce n'est pas important. Oh, yes. oh oui. How many reasons do you have for, uh, Vous avez combien de raisons maintenant Only five. Ah, seulement cinq. Well, there are only just a few. Ah, il y a seulement un peu. What is the first reason? Premier point, c'est quel point? Delay. Le retard. Cause the shipwreck. Don't delay so that later you'll be rushing and then you see that you are not out of time. Il faut pas être en retard sinon tu vas commencer à courir pour pouvoir. Second reason. Numéro deux. Being led by circumstance. You see, wretched men who are not spiritual, they, they follow circumstances. When things look bad or there's winter, then you have a uh, wretched and spiritual men. Wretched. Miserable. Miserable. Les hommes misérables, ce sont les hommes qui se laissent diriger par des circonstances et ce sont les gens qui ne sont pas spirituels. If you have even one ounce of spirituality, you will not be able to criticize Honorable people that are, are serving. Si so seulement, because you are a wretched, I mean, scandal man, wretched, miserable man. That is why you can open your mouth to criticize God's humble and holy servants. Si tu avais seulement une goutte de spiritualité, tu ne peux te laisser pour critiquer les hommes de Dieu qui sont humbles et honnêtes, les gens qui servent Dieu. I call you wretched, and you will be wretched. Je t'appelle misérable, et tu resteras misérable. Number two. Numéro two. What is your second reason? Deuxième raison. Being led by seconds. Number three. Numéro trois. Ignoring danger signs. Ignorer Number four. Numéro... Being in a hurry. Number five. Faire confiance à la majorité. Following the majority. Mm. Number six. six. Numéro six. Hmm. <laughs> words mm. and advice than mm. to spiritual words and spiritual advice. Mm. Être ouvert au conseil charnel au lieu d'être ouvert au conseil spirituel. Acts 27 verse 11 Be more open to secular and spiritual advice wow. than to spiritual advice. Être ouvert au you are conseil. more inclined to listen to unspiritual, secular words than spiritual things. Tu aimes, tu es incliné à écouter des conseils séculiers, non spirituels, que d'écouter des conseils King James. spirituels. King James. King James. James. Change the version. Change la version. Now, Maintenant. nevertheless, mm -hmm. the centurion believe the master and the owner of the ship mm. more than those things which were spoken by Paul. Le centenier écouta le pilote et le patron du navire plutôt que les paroles de Paul. Yes, oui. Wretched men who listen to unspiritual advice. He said the centurion believed the things that were said by the master and the owner who doesn't know God. Unspiritual, the ungodly men who don't know God. He said he believed that one more than he believed what Paul said. 
La Bible dit que le centenier a écouté le pilote et le patron du navire, les gens qui n'étaient pas spirituels, qui ne connaissaient pas la voix de Dieu, plus que ce que Paul a dit. Wretched man who don't, they, you see, to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Romans 8. La Bible dit, la Bible dit, être spirituel dans tes pensées, c'est la vie, la vie. Romains chapitre 8. Romains yeah. Romain, chapitre 8. Et c'est to be carnally minded is Les gens misérables qui n'ont pas la spiritualité, c'est eux qui attaquent les gens en justice. Quand la Bible dit de ne pas aller à la justice, amazing. C'est très étonnant. And you say you have people who have spiritual titles, reverend, pastor, bishop, whatever, and they rather follow the advice of a secular man, an unspiritual man, rather than to follow a, a veteran, hardened. I mean, season apostle of uh, apostle Paul. Yeah. Tu vois les gens qui portent les titres de pasteur, apôtre, révérend, évêque, mais ils n'écoutent pas les conseils des hommes de Dieu saisonnés, les gens qui ont été dans le ministère, comme l'apôtre Paul. That's how come the shipwreck came about. Voici comment le naufrage s'est passé. You make shipwreck of your marriage if you listen to secular advice. Tu feras naufrage de ton mariage si tu écoutes des conseils séculiers. Some of us shipwreck of our marriages is because you listen to your, your, your mother would say, all men are all men are animals, all men are this, all men are all men are, are liars, all men are unfaithful, all men are you can never trust a man. This and that you bring that one to come to the marriage. How can it work? Certains ont détruit leur mariage parce que tu écoutais le conseil de ta maman. Les hommes ne sont pas fidèles. Les hommes sont comme les animaux. Les hommes ne font pas confiance dans les hommes. C'est pourquoi tu as mené tous ces conseils dans ton mariage. You are making shipwreck of your marriage. Tu fais naufrage de ton mariage. <laughs> the centurion believed the things that were said by the master and the owner of the ship more than the things that were said by Apostle Paul. Le, wow. Wow. Le centenier a cru les paroles de Pilate et de patron du navire plus que les paroles de l'apôtre Paul. Wow. You go and see a lawyer. Tu vas voir and the lawyer avocat. will advise you. And sue the pastor. Charge him this. Tell him to do this. I mean, a carnal man. Wretched people. Les hommes charnels, les hommes charnels, des, des misérables, tu pars voir un avocat. Misérable, propre, misérable. Vous êtes misérable si tu pars voir un avocat et l'avocat te dit, il faut attaquer en justice ton pasteur, il faut demander une somme d'argent de, tu es misérable. Number seven. Number seven. That's the last point. C'est le dernier point. Those who make shipwreck. Ceux qui font naufrage. Oh yes. Oh oui. I'm just giving you one chapter of the book. Yeah. Look at it. Hey.
This is certain. Ça c'est certain. Like you see it as a dot in the sky, but when they My friend, what are you showing us? Uh... <laughs> Wake up. Is it too early in the morning for you? Huh? Yeah, so this is, this is what it looks like from far. Let's see. Donc, this is what it looks like from afar. De loin, on voit sa but tue, comme ça. I want to show you the one. So this is, you can see it from afar. De loin, Saturn, la planète Saturn est comme ça. Yeah. Saturn. This is many, many times bigger than the Earth. This is one of the planets. And this planet is in our solar system. Cette planète se trouve dans notre système solaire. Solar planet. system means the system around the sun. Donc, le, notre système solaire, c'est le système du soleil, les planètes autour de notre soleil. You see, some of the moons, there are 58 moons in Jupiter. Mm-hmm. La planète Jupiter a 58 lunes. Wow. And some of them are far bigger than the Earth. Et quelques, quelques-unes de ces lunes sont plus grandes que la Terre. But they are not called planets. Mais on les appelle pas des planètes. Because they don't go around the sun. Parce qu'ils ne revolvent pas. They, they go around Jupiter. Il revolve autour de Jupiter. Yes. Oui. They go around Jupiter. Il revolve autour. So that's why they are not called planets. C'est pourquoi on ne les appelle pas des planètes. They are bigger than Earth. Mais ils sont plus grands que la Terre. Yes. The moons of Jupiter. On les appelle les lunes de Jupiter. At first they thought there were only four. Avant on pensait qu'il y était seulement quatre. One of them is called Europa. Il y a un qui s'appelle Europa. But now they found more. Ils ont trouvé encore plus. Yes. More. Plus. Show us these people. This is Saturn. Ça c'est Saturn. Yes, but this is not the flyby picture. Show us. When you see the beauty, I will try and get it after. Je vais chercher ça yeah. pour vous montrer après. It's, 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 it's scary. Ça fait peur. Yeah. Oui. And say, all these things are out there. Who made them? Look at, look at the rings. The rings are made of stones that are moving. The, the, the rings you see, they are uh, rocks that are going around Saturn in this shape <laughs> at top speed. Mm. Les anneaux que, yes, and les... it has formed a pattern. Mm. Les anneaux que vous voyez autour de cette planète, ce sont des rochers. Show les, it. les rochers qui se déplacent à une haute vitesse. C'est ça yeah. qui forme les anneaux autour de yeah. la planète. Et thousand times bigger than the Earth. Et cette planète thousand. est mille fois plus grande yeah. que la Terre. It's in the sky. Et c'est dans le ciel. When you see it in the sky, it's just a dot, like a star. It actually looks like a star. But Mais you have to know how to. Do you, do you know how to set the difference between a star and a planet? No. You don't know? No. Hmm. Sur la Terre, on voit cette planète petite comme une étoile. Mais ce n'est pas une étoile, c'est une planète. Yeah. Il y a une différence entre les étoiles et les planètes. You should know how to see the difference between a star and a planet. Et vous devez apprendre comment at your faire. age. Tell your neighbor at your age. You should have known by now. Dis à ton voisin à ton âge. Uh, how to know the difference savoir, between a planet and a star. Tu devrais savoir la différence entre une planète et une étoile. <laughs> yeah, this is the rings. Voici les anneaux. Les anneaux yeah, they are rocks. They are rocks that are going round. Ce sont les rochers yeah. qui ah. se déplacent à une vitesse, hmm. haute vitesse. Wow. Wow. Number seven. Numéro sept. Shipwreck. Naufrage. Hmm. 
The seventh reason, la septième raison, for the shipwreck, pour le is naufrage, failure to heed the word of the Lord from His servant. L'échec de ne pas écouter la voix de l'Éternel par son serviteur. Yes. Failure to heed the word of the Lord from his servants. L'échec de ne pas écouter la voix yes. de l'Éternel par son serviteur. As the season was well advanced, Verse 9, and time had been lost. Navigation was dangerous. For the time of the fast was past. Paul warned and advised them. Are you, are you there? Acts 29, verse, the, verse 10. Verse 10. King James. He said to them, men, men, I perceive. This is a clear word he gave them before they started. Même avant de commencer le voyage, Paul a donné un avertissement très clair. Men, oh, oh. says, he even showed them respect. Yeah. Says, 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 says, he stood, he stood up and showed them respect. He said, Sir, I perceive. He said, Levé, il a dit, oh, this voyage will be with hurt. Cette navigation ne se and fera much damage. Ne se fera pas sans péril. Not only to the lading and the ship, but also of our lives. Non seulement pour la cargaison du navire, mais encore pour nos vies. He was given a clear word. Il donnait des paroles claires. But he failed to listen. Mais ils, ils n'ont pas écouté. One day, one, one of my pastors, he came and said that God has told him to start a church. Un jour, un, un de mes pasteurs est venu et me dit que Dieu l'a dit de commencer une église. And I told him, where has the Lord told you to start the church? Because it was in a small city in Europe. Parce que c'était dans une petite ville en Europe. And I told him, Et je lui ai dit, Sir, Monsieur, I perceive, je perçois, put my scripture there, I perceive that this voyage que will be with hurt, sera avec with hurt, and much damage avec beaucoup de dommages not only to the lading of the ship but also of our very life will be affected by this thing non seulement pour le cargaison du pour le navire mais encore pour nos personnes sir monsieur perceive monsieur at this voyage what you are going to start je perçois que ce que tu veux commencer to cause a lot of hurt ça va causer beaucoup de blessures because i said you've been the pastor here for 5 years tu as été pasteur dans cette église pour 5 ans Everybody knows you here. Tout le monde te connaît dans cette ville. What you are going to do is going to cause a lot of hurt. Ce que tu veux faire va causer beaucoup de blessures. And damage. Beaucoup de dommages. And I said to him, Et je lui ai dit, you are even related to me. Tu es même ma relation. It's going to be worse. Ça sera pire. It's going to bring hurt. Ça va amener une blessure. He would not listen to me. Mais il ne va pas m'écouter. No. And today, Et the person is not even in the ministry. La doesn't plus want to be in the ministry. Dans le ministère, because ne... much hurt, much damage, beaucoup de blessures, beaucoup de has dommages. taken place. Yes. Mon lieu. And you can see clearly a person made shipwreck yeah. of his faith. Tu vois clairement que cette personne a fait naufrage de ça. You know, I may, I may not be a prophet. Je, I, know. Je I, I believe prophet. I'm a prophet. But I'll tell you that Mais, God speaks to me about people that are with me. Mais je vous dis la vérité que Dieu me parle. Dieu me parle concernant les gens qui sont avec moi. Yes. Oui. Many times. Beaucoup de fois, la plupart du temps. He shows me things. Il me montre des choses. Oh yes, I oui. perceive. Je perçois. Said, Don't do this. Ne fais pas ça. It will not go well. Ça va pas réussir. It will not go well. Ça va pas finir bien. Yeah. But you see, we don't listen. Mais les gens n'écoutent pas. We don't listen. Les gens n'aiment pas écouter. What you are doing, this is how it will be. Ce que tu fais, ça va terminer One par. One day, a pastor came to see me. Un jour, un pasteur venait me voir. He said, he's Il a dit, going to start a church. Il veut commencer une église. And he's going to, to do something. So I explained to him. I said that in this church, all the guns. 
all the long distance guns, the long range guns, are pointed in this direction. Et je lui ai dit dans, dans cette église, tous nos fusils, les fusils de long range sont pointés dans cette direction. What you are going to do? It means you are going to stand at the place where the guns are directed. Et je lui ai dit, ce que tu veux faire là, ça veut dire, tu veux aller te positionner devant là où se se, se montre les, les fusils de notre église. When the guns start firing, those who forget, those who leave you, those who this, those, you will be right in line. Don't say that now you have been ostracized, you've been set aside, no one is your friend, nobody loves you, no one. Don't say that. That's what they, you do this and then you will say that. Now it looks like this church, if you leave, you can't leave. If you go, they will say this, they will say, I said, what you are going to do? You are going to spoil the church. Je lui ai dit, là où tu veux te positionner, nos fusils sont en train de regarder là-bas. Quand on commence à tirer, ceux qui sont, ceux qui oublient, ceux qui vous accusent, ceux qui vous ont, quand on commence à tirer, tu vas dire maintenant qu'on ne t'aime pas, nous sommes en train de te critiquer, mais ça n'est pas comme one of these fellows I told him I said go to another town another big city where this because you have been here you've been here so when you come here you are, you are in, you, in other words you are saying you are saying that this is an alternative mm. J'ai dit à un homme, un pasteur, je lui ai dit, il faut aller à une autre ville pour commencer. Parce que tu as été ici pour longtemps. Si tu commences ton église ici, tu as entendu dire aux gens que mon église est une alternative. It's an alternative to your place. Mon église maintenant est une église alternative à votre église. That's what Jeroboam did. Et voici ce que Jeroboam he, a fait. He made altars in a, Dan and Bathsheba also and told the people don't go to Jerusalem this is an alternative worship center mm. Jeroboam a maintenant bâti des altars à Bathsheba et à Dan et il a dit aux gens faut pas aller à Jérusalem vous pouvez rester ici pour sacrifier à l'Éternel In America oh, when you are running a private clinic mm. and you want to start your own private clinic mm. you sign one doctor to you sign a contract that if you are going to start your own clinic after working in somebody's clinic, you can't start a clinic within 10 miles or so. Is it 10 miles? Dr. Kam, this is a doctor who works in America. Oui, yeah? un médecin um, qui travaille aux états Well, you have to sign a non-compete mm. with the people that... Employ- a non-what? Non-compete. Write it down. Non-compete. <laughs> Il faut écrire. Sign a non-compete. Tu vas signer... You... you you will do sign a non-compete. That I will not compete with you. I will never do a church that will compete with the church that you are from. This is a, a secular. Do, do, uh, uh, come, uh-huh. you have to sign a non-compete. Non-concurrence. Uh-huh. We. Oui. You have to sign a non-compete. Thank you. You have to sign a non-compete. And uh, we must stand non by Non-compete means what? Means you are not going to compete because by virtue of the fact that they were the ones who employed you, you didn't know anybody there, you didn't know anything, they employed you, you have, through their clinic, made, have had relationships with the patient, you are working for them. And they were the ones paying you and they set you up. So it is unreasonable for you to, if you... And not wicked. Happy, and wicked. If you are unhappy and you are leaving, you cannot relate with their patients so non compete and 10 miles 20 miles so that it, you will be clear okay go and start with other patients that you meet 20 miles away but not where you compete with the patients that they have set up for you to relate with mm. donc en médecin aux États-Unis si tu es médecin et tu travailles dans une clinique privée yeah. quelque chose se passe et tu veux quitter tu vas signer ce qu'on appelle non concurrence yeah. si tu signes ça ça veut dire que quand je vais quitter cet hôpital Je dois commencer dans, disons, 20, plus de 20 km en dehors de là où j'avais commencé parce que c'est cet hôpital qui t'a aidé, c'est eux qui t'ont payé. C'est à travers cet hôpital que tu connais tous tes patients. Merci. Donc tu ne peux pas aller commencer ton, ton hôpital à côté. Non. Stand, stand here. So, have you worked for somebody in his clinic before? Oh, yes. As-tu Michael, travaillé pour Michael. quelqu'un dans son, cl- sa cl- son clinique, sa clinique? I worked, you know, for... 15 years of my life in Memphis with one particular guy. So you, he was working in some... Were you the owner of the clinic? No, I was not. The clinic was there before you came? He was there. They set up everything. Scopes, patients. I just arrived 
I had a salary. And then as you were working there, all the patients became your friends. Yes. They even liked me more than the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Donc, j'étais embauché à une clinique. Je travaillais là-bas pour 15 ans. Et je suis arrivé là-bas. Tout était déjà là. Yes. Toutes les machines sont déjà là. On me paye. Et même les patients m'aiment plus que même le patron de... Cette so, clinique. if you had started a clinic, maybe at the next street, could some of the patients have come to you? Oh, completely. They would have come to me. Especially because the boss was very busy, so I had a lot of relationships with them, including my own church members who came. But I was not allowed, unless I set up 20 miles away, I was not allowed to relate with them as my yeah. patients. Yeah. If I had left this clinic, all the patients would come to me because I knew all the patients. Eh? Même les membres de mon église étaient en train de venir. Mais si je voulais quitter, commencer, je devais aller 20 km plus pour yeah. aller commencer. Yeah. Non compete. Because it means that if you were to start your uh, practice cl- clinic Practice. nearby, it means you are killing his clinic because exactly. all the patients who were coming to him, whom American government was paying insurance yes. for them to come to him, they will no more pay his clinic, but That's they will right. now be paying you. Yes. Ça veut dire que si il avait commencé sa clinique à côté, tous les patients vont venir commencer et puis il va tuer la clinique d'où il a quitté. Et ça veut dire que les États-Unis même ne veulent pas payer cette clinique-là, l'assurance pour les gens qui viennent. And it is actually based on previous happenings. They collapse the owner's clinic for their own clinic. Especially some people have that mind. So they set up and they relate with the people just knowing their mind they're about to leave. They make the connections firm and then they go. Et ce qui se passe maintenant, c'est à cause de quelque chose qui s'est passé auparavant. Les gens ont commencé les hôpitaux, les autres sont venus travailler et puis ils ont quitté en créant de bonnes relations avec des patients et puis ils ont fait tomber l'hôpital pour commencer un autre hôpital. Yes. Wow. Wow. Non compétition. Non concurrence. Tu vois c'est amazing. C'est très étonnant. Oh, you see this is the cause of all these troubles. That's why we teach those who leave you, those who forget, those who are... Because it's all in an effort to help us to have stable congregations and stable churches, not people that are collapsing our churches. Voici la raison pour laquelle on enseigne ceux qui vous quittent, ceux qui vous accusent. Pourquoi? Parce qu'on veut avoir les églises qui sont bien établies. On ne veut pas avoir une situation où les gens font tomber les églises que nous avons déjà établies. Wow. Wow. Seven causes of shipwreck. I think you will not forget it. Je crois que Stand to your feet, everybody. Oubliez les sept causes de naufrage. Restez debout tout le monde. All the reasons are there. A shipwreck. Put it back on. Toutes les raisons sont sur l'écran. Delay, being led by circumstance, ignoring danger signs, being in a hurry, trusting in the majority, being more open to secular words and advice than spiritual words and advice, and then not heeding to the word of the Lord from his servant. Amen. Amen. Wow. Wow. So this is just one of the shipwrecks. The other shipwrecks have other causes. I see. Oh. Yes. Donc ça ce sont des sept causes pour seulement un naufrage. Il y a d'autres naufrages avec d'autres causes. How many would like to know what other shipwrecks and other causes? Qui aimera yes. savoir les causes des différents naufrages dans la Bible? So when the book comes out, make sure you get it and read it. Donc quand le livre va sortir, Il faut tout faire pour acheter ou pour avoir. Lift up your hands. Levez vos mains. Lift up your hands. Levez vos mains. And just pray for a moment. Il faut prier pour un moment. Father, thank you. Père, merci. Now, I want you to apply these seven words to your personal life. Don't think of an orangu somewhere. Think of yourself becoming a shipwreck. And look at the signs. Look at it, number one. Put the signs there again. That what are you delaying? What am I delaying? What circumstance is leading me? What danger sign am I ignoring? What am I in a hurry about? What majority mind am I following? 
what type of secular words am I rather listening to than more than the spiritual words and advice that I'm receiving? And what word of the Lord, of the servant of God, has been given to me that am I not listening to oh, yes. or following yes, in a certain way? Yes. Lift your holy hands to Jesus. Levez-vous, Il faut prier. Il ne faut pas penser à quelqu'un. Applique tous les points à toi-même. Demande-toi, est-ce que je suis en retard? Est-ce que je suis dirigé par des circonstances? Est-ce que j'ignore les signes des dangers? Est-ce que je suis pressé? Est-ce que je fais confiance à la majorité? Prends tous les points. Applique ça dans ta vie. Il faut prier. Au nom de Jésus. Father, we are thanking you. Père, nous te remercions. We are thanking you. Nous te remercions. For your word this to us this morning. Pour ta parole vers nous ce matin. Thank you. Nous sommes reconnaissants. Thank merci. you for merci. speaking clearly to us. Tu nous as parlé clairement. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom de Jésus Christ. Pray. Amen. Nous avons prié. Amen. You may be seated. Asseyez-vous. Take out your offering. We are going to have a break. Prenez vos offrandes. Now. Nous aurons une petite ah, It doesn't pause. look like time has gone by, but a lot of time has gone by. It's 10 o'clock. Il est déjà 10 heures. Yeah. Il est déjà 10 heures. Incroyable. Oh yes, what a blessing. Do you see my hand? Vous voyez ma main? When I lay my hands on you. Quand je pose ma main sur toi. When I lay my hands on you. Si je pose ma main sur toi. That there is a word Il y a une parole. that is going to come into your life, and that word is "send" or "sent." Une parole s'introduira dans ta vie. Cette parole c'est envoi ou envoyé. Send or sent. Envoi ou envoyé. May God send you. Que Dieu t'envoie. Ah, how many would like to be? Can you send children? Est-ce que tu peux envoyer des enfants? No, can you send little children? Est-ce que tu peux envoyer des petits enfants? You can't send them anywhere. On peut pas you les envoyer. Ten years old, go, go to town, get a visa, open a bank account. Tu ne peux pas envoyer un enfant de 10 ans d'aller en ville, commencer, ouvre un compte bancaire, avoir un visa, non? The word "send" is a word that apostles use. Le mot envoyer c'est un mot que les apôtres utilisaient, employaient. And the word "sent." Le mot s- makes you qualified. Le mot envoyé te qualifie. Qualified. Te qualifie. To be sent. D'être envoyé. Yes. Oui. There's something good about you. Il y a quelque chose de bon te concernant. May God minister to you apostolic anointings and graces. Que Dieu fait tomber sur toi la grâce apostolique au nom de Jésus Christ. Amen. Amen. Everybody take out an offering concerning being sent or sending. We are going to go for a, a, short, a break, morning break, and then we'll come back. Prenez une offrande concernant être envoyé ou envoyé. On va prendre une petite pause ou on va retourner. Shama kalamando ramanda la baka balanda le bandere le bandere le bandere.
instead of making shipwreck au lieu of your faith de faire naufrage de ta foi you are going to enlarge tu vas avoir l'expansion instead of making shipwreck au lieu de faire naufrage you are going to enlarge tu auras l'expansion enlargement l'expansion i believe god for enlargement je crois dieu pour l'expansion in the name of jesus au nom de jesus father we thank you for every seed père merci pour that we are sowing que nous semons aujourd'hui bless the lives of your children bénis les vies de tes enfants as we give today comme nous donnons aujourd'hui in the mighty name of jesus au nom puissant de jesus amen amen God bless you ashes receive the offering. Que Dieu vous bénisse, prenez vos offrandes. Those of you in front come. Ceux qui sont devant, put your offering in the front here. Ceux qui sont devant, the, the, those nearer the front just come. You go everywhere. Those who are standing should all give their offerings. Permettez à tout le monde de donner leurs offrandes. Let everybody have a chance to give. Que tout le monde puisse donner une offrande. Those who want to give by mobile money, the numbers are on the screen. Si vous voulez donner par mobile money, vous pouvez aussi trouver les numéros sur l'écran. Bless you. Keep coming. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Keep coming. The ashes receiving the offerings at the back. Please double up. kindly ask that we remain seated so that we Est-ce que vous pouvez rester assis s'il vous plaît in an orderly manner que nous puissions progresser d'une manière très ordonnée especially those of us at the back once you start moving there will be a lot of confusion surtout ceux qui sont derrière quand vous commencez à vous déplacer il y aura trop de confusion just one minute we are Just waiting for the ashes to come une minute on attend les placeurs the board members 
please. Si les membres du conseil peuvent sortir. So sortir. Board members and UD bishops also can. 